to be fair to the Marines, yes, they were the first one fingered on this, but now we're hearing that all four branches of the military, at least, are looking into this. And we don't know if that's with cause, although there is reporting out there that suggests that they do have cause to be looking, that this isn't just about the Marines or just about the Department of the Navy. But that makes this first question even more pressing. Who knew? How could nobody in the chain of command be aware of something that spread through every branch of the service with numbers of men membership in at least the tens of thousands? Well, you talk about it spreading, but Marines hold themselves out as being special, and they are. We expect more out of Marines. They expect more out of themselves. They should expect more in this case. And I think one of the parts of the investigation is how did it spread, where did it go, who knew, and did any of the chain of command know? But you look at how strong the statements are coming from General Neller, who is the top uniformed Marine. You look at the ones coming from the acting Secretary of the Navy, Sean Stackley. You cannot put up with this and have an effective military force. You just can't do it. Marines have to know, every Marine has to know that every other Marine has their back. And that is the basis of the Marine Corps.